Hello, my name is Carl Monk. I'm going to introduce you to a new science, or perhaps an old science, depending upon one's viewpoint. It is the science of geomathematics, as taught to us by the Pyramid Matrix. Now we need to add another piece to all of this so it begins to make more sense. And you can begin to see that this is just not fantasy, but this is science and mathematics. There was a man named Carl P. Munch who uh, discovered something incredible. If you know how to read this code, we'll produce these series of three numbers. And these three numbers tell you exactly. It's the longitude, la latitude of, of a grid. In order to arrive at that precision where every single one of those 83,000 sites are precisely on Earth, to arrive at that, uh, we would normally imagine that they would have to be in space and have satellites, uh, a GPS system like, like we have today. I mean, how could they do this? Uh, there's another thing about Carl's work that's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, it was introduced into the United Nations, uh, and the whole system of all of this was uh, given to them, and uh, exactly how it works, and uh, and this uh, the uh, the new uh, system that they had found, and everything, and how this all all these pyramids were all around the world were connected to it, and uh, but they didn't know what to do. I mean. It, it defies everything that modern man knows about ancient man. Uh, this, put, this makes ancient man on almost the same level that we're on, and, and how could this possibly be? Uh, but they couldn't deny it either, because there it was. It was mathematical fact. And, uh, and so it's been kind of just shoved under the floor of the somewhere, and the United Nations has been put under a carpet somewhere and just forgotten because it didn't fit into anything that we know. The, pr the prime meridian that we use today is not the one he uses. The one that Thoth is using is the Great Pyramid itself. If you take the North Pole and the South Pole and run a line directly over the apex of the Great Pyramid, that is the prime meridian of this system, and, uh, which makes sense. It's the first building that was built. And furthermore, that first building wasn't just placed anywhere on Earth. It happens to be the precise center of the entire landmass of the Earth. Uh, they knew that even if you couldn't find that building for some reason, that uh, that spot is not going to move more than a few inches over 13,000 years. I was trying to develop a code system to be based on the language of latitude and longitude, degrees, minutes, and seconds. The idea being to multiply the three numbers in each set to a single number. Fifteen degrees times fifteen minutes times zero one point six zero 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 seconds products at three hundred and sixty the number of degrees of an arc in any circle. For example, when I divided three sixty degrees constant by nineteen degrees eighteen minutes to zero one point zero five two six three one five seven eight nine two seconds. I found myself on the parallel of latitude, which crosses the Mexico's round 360 degrees Kiwikuliko pyramid just south of uh, Mexico City. But later, when probing the larger 21,600 the number of nautical miles in the Earth's polar circumference.
I found that when I divided it down through 51 degrees and 10 minutes to 42.3529411 seconds, it crossed the exact center of England's Stonehenge, another round 360 degree monument, which originally had 60 stones around its perimeter, as 60 stones times 360 degrees multiplies to exactly 21,600. Problem is, these pyramid grid scenarios kept coming. Egypt's El Kula Pyramid at 36. Its Bent Pyramid of Sinafu, 180. The Druid Mound of Massachusetts, 180. The earthen ideogram fort at Newark, Ohio, 2160. The temple of the Atlantis at Tula in Mexico, 2880. The Giza Sphinx at 5400. Georgia's Kolomoliki Mound, 7,200. Ohio's Seep Mound, 8,640. Mississippi's Emerald Mound. And the Red Pyramid of Sanufu at Darshu, uh, 10,800. The Great Triangle drawn on the plains of Nazca in Peru, 17,280. And Germany's Golo Earth Circle near Bond, 27,000. The Eye and the Mile Long Face at Poverty Point, Louisiana, 32,400. The Oregon Vortex, 48,600. Manos, another drawing on Nascau's Plains, 64,800. And North Bimini's Shark Mound. And the Pyramid at the Magicians at Ushmal, 129,600. all of which are divisible by 360. Now that you've heard Munch's words, you begin to understand uh, that there is this precision grid of 83,000 sites all over the world that are precisely put on the planet, precisely in very specific places.